Hey Meadows, I'm so glad that you're joining us on this study of the attributes of God this month. Today we'll be looking at the holiness of God. And for some, when we hear the word holiness, we think of purity, goodness, righteousness. And those are a part of holiness. But I want to unpack this a little more before we start reading Isaiah. This biblical word holy has two meanings. The primary meaning is other, apart, separate. And this meaning distinguishes between God the creator and us as the creation. And in that, he is superior than us, he is mightier than us, he is more majestic than we are. This makes him worthy of all of our worship, all of our reverence, all of our honor, and all of our glory. The second meaning of this word holy is related to his moral attributes, meaning that he is completely pure and righteous. Everything he does is holy. His thoughts, his actions, his words, they are all holy. And there is no evil mixed in with his goodness and purity. God being holy means that he is distinct from us. He is separate than us. He is other. And it also means that he is pure in all he is. Because God is holy, we must glorify him. Today we'll read Isaiah 6, 1 through 8. And we'll enter into the throne room of God, seeing angels declaring that our God is holy. And so I hope and my prayer is that today we will worship God because he is holy. Meadows, I'm so excited to embark on this journey together as we grow in our knowledge of and love for our God, the Holy One. Have a great day.